Hi everyone. This stack of books right here is called the Federal Register. For decades, copies have been printed, bound, and sent to thousands of government offices all across the country, every single day. And while you might think that most people just can't wait to dig into their copy as soon as it arrives, the truth is, no one reads this thing. And that's because it's been available on the internet for years. Which means taxpayers have been funding some pretty expensive doorstops. So we're putting an end to that, saving you millions of dollars each year. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Everyone knows that getting rid of the deficit will require some tough decisions. And that includes cutting back on billions of dollars in programs that a lot of people care about. But what should be easy is getting rid of the pointless waste and stupid spending that doesn't benefit anybody. Waste we should be getting rid of even if we didn't have a deficit. We're off to a good start. Over the last two years, we've pulled the plug on all kinds of ridiculous practices. Apparently, the government used to overnight containers filled with nothing. Don't ask why that is. Sure, some of these cuts aren't that big, but no amount of waste is acceptable. Not when it's your money. Not at a time when so many Americans are already cutting back. Just as families are living within their means, government should too, so we can invest in the things that we know will create good jobs and grow the economy. Things like education, and technology. Besides, after a while, all these cuts add up. Already we've identified about $33 billion in savings, just for this year. And we're not finished, not by a long shot. Did you know the federal government pays for a website devoted to a folk music ensemble made up of forest rangers? They're called the Fiddlin' Foresters. I'll put their music on my iPod, but I'm not paying for their website. And there are hundreds of similar sites that we should consolidate or just get rid of. By the way, you're not only paying for websites no one needs, you're paying for thousands of buildings all across the country no one uses. For the last decade, the government's owned a massive and completely empty warehouse in the middle of Brooklyn, for example. Now, the government hadn't been able to sell this building and others like it because of red tape and Washington politics that held things up for years. But we're finally cutting through all that and plan to get rid of these buildings in the months ahead. All of these efforts to target waste and make government more efficient have been a priority for my administration since day one. But as we work to tackle the budget deficit, we need to step up our game. We need to go after every dime. We need to make government work for you. That's why, starting today, I've asked the Vice President to lead a renewed effort to hunt down misspent tax dollars in every agency and department of this government. We're calling it the Campaign to Cut Waste. And I know Joe's the right man to lead it, because nobody messes with Joe. There's a new standard by which the government is going to function from this point on. The American people are entitled to transparency. By that I mean they're entitled to be able to figure out where their dollars are going, and they're entitled to accountability to make sure that we're using the dollars for what we said it was for. That's our job, and we take that job very seriously. Look. A lot of this depends on new, sophisticated methods, but it also, it also, we know, depends on relentless focus on making this a priority. Focus that can't be delegated. We're holding ourselves accountable, and we're deeply committed and focused on making government function better. We're not just eliminating fraud and waste. We hope to be instilling an entire new culture that not only our administration, but every succeeding administration will, in fact, pursue. We're going to give you the government you expect and deserve. So I want to thank you all, and uh, we're ready to get to work.